guys, just from McKinney Designs and welcome to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be having a look at different styles of roof racks. We're going to have a look at their range of accessories and why I particularly chose this brand that I have behind me. We're going to have a look at its price and most importantly, the overall quality, which is very important to most of us. So let's get straight into it. Now, choosing a roof rack is somewhat difficult, um, which I can see. As soon as you go onto the internet, you type in your model and make of your vehicle, and you have a huge choice of different types of roof racks. So you are spoiled for choice, but the problem is, is making the right choice um, for your vehicle and obviously for your particular needs. So making a choice of roof rack, the things you need to consider is what do you want and what do you f physically need from your roof rack and what are your needs going to be in the future that brings me on to the choice i made with this particular brand which is front runner so i have a front runner system on the front front runner system on the back and the reason why i chose front runner have a look at their website and it will be clear to see that they are fully loaded with different styles of roof racks a huge array of different types of accessories for all different types of uh, activities that you could possibly think of and you can basically shake a stick at. So um, it was basically head and shoulders above all other roof racks that I found on the market. And the biggest thing to me uh, that really, really mattered was their presence or where I was situated. So if I was looking for spare parts, um, different accessories, or if I had any warranty issues, I knew that I had the support behind me and I knew the access to any of those parts and accessories was pretty damn easy. So what makes them so good? So as you can imagine, where this all started, roof racks were first made out of steel and they were very, very heavy. Um, and they were pretty difficult to add to your truck or mount to your vehicle. Uh, there was a lot of drilling involved or whatsoever and you had to kind of custom make them or make them fit. Uh, they've come a long way and they've been very weight conscious. And obviously you can imagine with a steel roof rack, when you start loading it up with loads of gear, your vehicle becomes top heavy, which is obviously not really good for off-road, especially over those very sort of undulating terrain and you know extreme obstacles. So they've moved into more of a lightweight aluminium construction, um, basically an extrusion material where it makes the whole roof rack very, very modular. So adding accessories and gear is very, very simple. Now with the aluminium extrusion, like I previously mentioned, makes it simple to add and take away accessories and add your gear. Things like tie down points, such as this one here, which is an M8 bolt, that basically just slides in, in the groove wherever you need it. And if you need a, a particular tie down point in a certain area, that's all you need to do is just move your tie down point to that location and then away you go. So there's a lot of flexibility in these particular roof racks, which is really, really good. Um, for those of you guys who want to be overlanding and you know going out on big excursions, not only can the accessories be moved around here, but again, like I previously touched on, the amount of different accessories for different types of activities, such as kayaking, uh, surfing, uh, mountain biking, to name a few, you get all the mounting locations and mounting accessories that will suit those particular activities. So with most vehicles, uh, Front Runner have basically supplied a wide variety of different styles of roof racks. So you can get the clamp-on style roof racks, basically clamp onto your roof rails. You can get backbone systems that I have here. You can even get bed racks, which is quite a nice uh, alternative if you do not have a canopy, if you want something on the back, just to keep um, the height of all your gear above your, your bed liner, which is a great option for those guys uh, um, who do, do not have canopies. So, for my particular vehicle, the Ford Ranger Wildtrak, I had roof rails and I had the roof rail uh, rack up on there to start off with and that's basically served its purpose. However, I found myself running out of space pretty quickly when I chucked my swag on there and a various bits of gear. It is was slightly cramped. So, um, Hence why I've moved over to the backbone system. As you can see, it spans the length of the roof and adds a lot more roof rack space for your gear um, to add on there. So all I did was take the, the rail one and move that to the back of the canopy, got that mounted on there and mounted the, the backbone system on the truck. 
So with the backbone system, like I touched on earlier, there was a few little things that Frontrunner have prepared for, for you guys in the future, is basically this area here. That area there has been cleverly designed to store a table. As most of you know, when you go camping, it's always tricky to find space in the back of your truck or wherever it is for a table. And a table is always handy to have a work surface where you can either put things on, um, you can prepare food. Now a great way of storing that out of the way is basically sliding it in there in your roof rack. So the clever guys from Front Runner have come up with a really awesome design to get your gear up there nice and tight. It does, it's nice and secure so it doesn't rattle around and it's lockable as well. So have a look on the Front Runner website. There's huge amounts of different accessories. I can't list them all but I'll, I'll definitely show you a snippet of them. I'll put that obviously link down in the description. But have a look at that. I thought that was very, very clever. And that obviously is not available on the, the clamp-on system. It's only mainly available with the, the backbone system there. It allows that space um, to be utilized for a table. But that's not all. And by no means is this an advert for Front Runner. Um, so with the roof rack themselves um, being it very, very modular, if you have a vehicle with a sunroof, you can actually take these slats out and make way for a sunroof. So you can utilize the amount of sunshine and you don't have to say goodbye to your lovely sunroof. Not only that, if you need to add more slats to your roof rack, you can do that as well. If you notice your roof rack comes with a certain amount of um, slats, and you can add more into the slots that are already available to you. Not only that, the roof rack itself, if you need to change the actual length or make it longer, you can get different fitting kits to increase the, the length of your roof rack or decrease it if you so wish. So it's no surprise why I chose Front Runner. As you can see, there's so many things going for it. It's super versatile, very, very modular. It's easy to install, um, and the overall quality is pretty damn good. So, I mean, it's a huge tick in my box, and it's definitely something I would love to recommend to you guys. Um, by no means am I sponsored in any way. This is all uh, funded by myself. Um, so have a look at Front Runner, have a look at that stuff, but we want to touch on something that's pretty important um, that is quite overlooked um, throughout the 4x4 industry, which is load ratings. So having a look at the roof rating of your roof rack, that, which is very, very important uh, for carrying huge amounts of gear up on the roof. So with a roof rack, um, having a load rating of 300 kilo, kilograms, <laughs> which is the front runner one. Um, it doesn't mean that you can chuck up 300 kilograms up there and away you go. Um, it does all depend on your roof load rating, um, which in some vehicles is very, very low, some are a lot higher. Uh, so make sure you check that with your manufacturer and have a look at what the load rating is. And what you've got to bear in mind, you've got to subtract the physical weight of your roof rack itself away from from the, the load rating of your roof, and that'll determine the uh, basically the dynamic um, load rating for your vehicle. That means anything that is moving uh, with your roof rack, and going off-road, you, you've, you've got to subtract more work. Basically, it's a third of that weight. Um, so obviously, as you can imagine, you're going across uh, extreme terrain, or a lot of corrugations, or the vehicle is gonna be moving around a lot and the roof is going to be subjected to a lot of stresses from all the the, the, the tie down points etc so can you imagine all the stresses that are going through the vehicle and into the roof so it's very very important that you have a look at the, the load ratings for your vehicle and for the roof rack so don't overload your roof rack because i'm sure most of you have seen not only on youtube across most forums that roof racks tend to go flying off their vehicles and that's the last thing you need is a roof rack coming tearing out your vehicle and creating damage um, to the vehicle which is a pretty sad day for for those that obviously overload their roof racks right so pros and cons of the front runner roof rack as you can see early in the video there's so many pros going for this roof rack there's not much i can really uh, pick and be picky about the roof rack itself. The only real gripe that I have with front runners, front runners roof racks is the overall paint finish, and that is merely cosmetic. The overall performance of the roof rack is second to none, uh, is a great option for anybody out there. So always be aware for the, with the front runner roof racks. Here in the UK, we have very, very aggressive salt on the roads, especially during the winter time, and that is very, very aggressive on the corner paint um, of the front runner roof rack, So, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, 
but it's not a real deal breaker and front front are known for their customer service and they do respond very very well um, to customers who have issues with their corners so what i've done is basically just rub the paint back off of mine um, and line that with a raptor coating in some cases i will show you um, a couple of snips um, of the actual corners that are starting to bubble and again those will be stripped back and raptor coated just to mitigate that, I'm not really interested in going back and forth with front runner um, to getting new corners because I'll just be back to square one again because I know what the salt is doing to not only our vehicles but to the rest of our accessories and stuff like that. So, um, and probably the a small little thing to pick on is the nuts and bolts they use in the the slats. Not all of them, or not any of them, are stainless steel. What I've noticed is most of the nuts have started rusting out. So I've changed all the nuts um, for stainless steel ones, and basically it just uh, it just gives you that peace of mind that your you know your roof rack is going to be stable and be you know pretty sweet for many years to come. Now just a quick one on the price. Um, so depends on which one you go for, but either the backbone system, the rail system, or the bed rack, depends which one you go for, but generally the pricing is around 850 pounds down to about 750 pounds, around about there, obviously including VAT and taxes, all that kind of stuff, so, um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of that kind of money, it is a very worthwhile investment, especially for a roof rack, it's gonna be holding gear and a lot of weights on your roof. It's definitely worth investing into something really premium, and obviously that's worth its weight in gold. Um, if you're gonna buy cheap, you go, are going to buy twice, and you end up crying, um, especially with a really cheap roof rack that either doesn't do the job um, and it doesn't offer the same versatility as a rack like this. So hopefully this video has been insightful, has given you some good information about the roof rack system that we have on my vehicle and why, why I chose it. Um, I'll put a link down in the description to the, the front runner website and you can basically see for yourself just how many uh, parts and accessories they can throw at you, which is pretty damn awesome. And if you have any comments or suggestions for myself uh, or need any guidance, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help out wherever I can. And if you're new here, hopefully I've earned your subscription. Um, but without further ado, we will definitely see you in the next one.